Hello and welcome back to Dicey Dungeons. I'm Odia Baran as we are back with the more challenges for the warrior. I thought maybe we should go through each character and do their step by step. But I kind of want to see what Parallel Universe and a Bonus Round are all about before we decide to do that. Um, these will get progressively harder as we go because each character is a little bit more difficult. This is the easiest of the easiest. I want to see what Parallel Universe is like. So I'm going to get into the Warrior here again. Hopefully it's uh, still fun though. So enemies have extra health. Status effects work differently, whatever that means. And all of the equipment has been changed. I am fascinated. And I can't wait to find out what it means. New cutscene, awesome. Warrior, my love, how are you getting on? You know, if you stop fighting against me and start working really, really hard on being a good minion, then in a couple hundred years, you might have a shot at becoming a level boss. What? No, I'm, 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 I'm getting on fine. I'm gonna win this. You're really not, you know. And that's another thing. I'm beginning to think you might not have be our best interest at heart. You're not the smartest of my little battlers, are, are you? Of course, I don't have your best interest at heart. I don't even have a heart to theoretically have them at in the first place. But what I do have is more monsters for you to fight. In you go. All right, so things will be different now. Supposedly. I got rust. Oh, interesting. I have rusty sword now. Max five damage. If you do X damage, double if your health is critical. Great. Great. Hopefully that doesn't come up too often here. Uh, all right, let's go after Rose. See how this goes. Didn't mean for that to rhyme. Kind of sounds stupid if I do that. Okay, weak to fire. Can't do anything about that. Fury? Double the next action, but that equipment cannot be used the next turn. Wow. Okay. Well then. And instead of a dice roll, he gets a combat spatula. Which doesn't really help me at all this, this battle because I can either get a six or a one. And that's it. And I can't play this one, so I get one damage. Great first turn. Great first turn. Rosewood Spear question mark uh, did, uh... So it's not just my equipment that's different, it's theirs too. Rosewood Spear gains two thorns and does X damage. That's pretty powerful. I'm glad to only give you one of those. And awesome, doing another single, single damage here. Holy cow. We're gonna lose the first one out here. He could do anything there. That's fun. Uh, we can at least get max on that one, at least. Rolling too many sixes. I'm going to want these sixes at some point later, I'm sure. That's nuts. Okay, so do next action twice. I might as well do it. Let's flip this for four. Might as well do it. Now we can't do anything next turn, though. This is nuts. This is going to be absolutely crazy. Oh, he got six. Oh my god. We can flip this for a five and take two damage. We're down to four health already. Holy cow. We're off to a bang and start here. Sledgehammer. Does eight shock damage, shocks the enemy for a 10. I mean, with spatula, 10s aren't that uncommon. I feel like I can get 10 pretty often. We're gonna take it just because I need the damage, but I mean, seriously, seriously going into this battle already at the level we're at, this is bad. This is very, very bad. We could potentially win this first battle though. Can we? My health is critical, so this will do double damage. Uh, I can flip this for a five. That works. Okay. Well, <laughs> I did. I did say hope this this whole critical hit thing doesn't come up too often, but it did already. Two battles into the, the level here. All right. So we have health to get Super Robobot, and we don't have to go through him, but we probably should to get the levels up. Baby Squid, Pirate, all these are... I mean, I have no no idea what to expect from any of these, so I'm going to go with the, the Super Robobot first. Let's let's make it the hardest one first. We get, a, we get a loot after this anyway, so... We have a Super Enemy. 26 health. 
Uh, we have the opportunity for a shock. So that's good. And it's shocked. Okay. So temporarily disables random equipment. Costs 3 HP to unshock. That's So that makes shock more like burn, actually. So that's interesting. So they lose 3 HP to unshock. Not that he'd want to, because he can't really do anything with that anyways. Uh, so here's a situation where we have a... 5 max damage here. And then we can get a 4 out of this. Put those into that for now. Be ready for the next turn. Uh, he got all those attacks off. He didn't have any special differences there, which was interesting. Uh, let's save the sledgehammer. I don't know if the, the level point stays on that or not. Uh, well, we can't actually. We need to do the damage. Never mind. That works. I was going to try to save it, but I didn't realize how much health he has left. Okay. At least we got the Fury going in the next uh, battle. I need one more battle to level up here. Um, candle. Dice value loses one, lose one HP. Gotta really make that one count. Um, the baby squid is usually not that big of a deal. I would, we're going into, well, okay. Well, here's my thought process. We beat, defeat the baby squid. We level up, we get our health back. We go after him, he breaks us down a little bit, we get a little bit of health back with this. That's my thought process on it. That assumes I get through the baby squid battle. Makes a lot of assumptions. Usually he's not that bad. We'll see. The 10% more health doesn't really matter to me that much. Uh, he has an odd inflict blind for one turn, which does blind is different now. And uh, headbutt does even two damage. Uh, two uses with X damage, okay. We could potentially last two more turns here. He does a six in that one, and a, if he rolls two sixes and he gets down there, it's 12. And then uh, if he rolls odds, we're safe. So, okay. So we have a situation of, we have 10 for this, cool. And we have that, so let's do, let's do the fury for this. Play that, it'll shock 16 damage right away, and two shock. And that, that means both of his equipment are shocked, he's gonna lose eight, eight health for playing any of those now. So, that's good, that's great. And he's gonna wanna play both of them. He'll unshock both. He did it, that fool, that fool. So I got blind question mark. Cannot see remaining health. Okay, well, that's not that big a deal. I got, I know what that is. Just be careful not to play candle ever. All right. So Crescent Moonblade, even turns, damage, odd turns, shield, interesting. Polar Star, do two times damage, can only use on even turns. Interesting, interesting. I think it would take Polar Star. From max of 10 damage, every other turn. I think it's I think it's a good way to go. I'm gonna take Polar Star. I like that one quite a bit. And it is equipped already. Good, good, good. Upgrade here. What's we got here? We got a katana. Max four damage, three uses this turn. Take. The question is, do I put that in place of the rusty sword or not? I think I do. Even though rusty sword has more potential. This has more viability. I'll be putting high dice into this, low dice into this, right? And then twice per every other turn, I'll be putting points into this. So I have three dice, right? So that's worked out perfectly. I would get rid of candle of anything here. I'm not gonna use it. I'm just not gonna use it. Okay, I think we're in good shape actually. We'll see what the pirate does though. I love that they have like, I'm like, I'm like so deep into the game right now, right? But I'm seeing brand new equipment now thanks to the parallel universe, which is just like nuts. Like what kind of game does this? Where they bury like half the game's equipment that deep into the game and only for this particular episode. It's gotta, they gotta bring it back for later episodes. They got it for like six. It's probably a lot of this kind of stuff, maybe. 
Uh, okay, so now we're situation of we need to do the five on the sledgehammer. I would consider doing this for the low, for the reduced. Let's see, we can flip this over for a two, right? I can put it into here. I can flip these. I could so I can flip this for a one. Let's see. I could lose a health. Flip this over. Let's see what his moves are. He's got a pirate hook. Does five. That's the same. And this is the same. So his moves are the same here, actually. Not all of the moves are different. Just all of my moves are different. So I could do ten in here and do one in here. I'd have to flip this over and put it into there. Or I can reduce the health on this one to down to a four, put it into there for four damage, and I would lose one health and still get the eight damage and a shock. And for the cost of one health, I would shorten the turn by three damage for the cost of one health. I don't think that's worth it. If I end up with like a last turn here with when he's got three damage left, I might consider that, but we'll do this. We'll do that. Won't take any self-inflicted damage. And he shocked himself. He's an unshock for no good reason. You know you have two of those. I don't understand it. He could have done three damage to me. Like said he said he takes three. I'll never understand. I mean he gave me he gave me some burn, which is not good. Actually, burn acts different, doesn't it? Burning dice can be used on equipment, but will disable the equipment for the rest of the turn and for next turn. Interesting. Interesting. All right, so this is a max five every other turn. I can just skip using those, because so I can get 10 damage this turn with this. Um, what I could do is if I... Hmm. I would fury this, right? There we go. That makes sense. For 20 damage, sure. Wastes our fury, yes. Going into the tough area, yes. But hey, shop. Hook shot. Keep your next dice. Keep the next dice you use and return this dice. So it is a. If I roll two, I like that better than the other one. Um, that's interesting. Last stand, question mark. Survive for three turns once per battle. Does that mean survive the next three turns? So I have to like get that one down to the point where it's usable and I know I'm going to lose and I just play it on there. That would be wild. That would be wild. That's the kind of thing that's like if back pocket that might work out. But hookshot is very interesting. It gives us an extra dice, essentially, if I roll a two. And I have a spatula, so I can always pretty much roll a two. I mean, one way or another. Hook shot, I would probably get rid of the other one. The uh, the one that's reduced health for one reduced uh, value. Hook shot's kind of cool. I'm debating. Last stand's not going to come up that often, I feel like. Not often enough to pay off. Not for I mean I would this is the kind of thing I'd throw into my slot if I wish I, I wish I had six honestly if I had six I'd buy them both but gotta make choices I'm gonna buy the hook shot it's gonna be more value and uh, be more useful than candle and it's gonna it's gonna be good uh, heal back and then move on okay so we have an upgrade if we get through the wizard we have the fireman in a vacuum all of these sound bad to me. We need five to, so to get through two of these to level up. Uh, let's go through the wizard first. It'll give us a lot of options. Though. Okay, so he's only got one dice still. Are right, any of his moves different? Looks like it's the same stuff as usual. Okay. So this one's unavailable because I used it. It carries over between turns. That's good to know. This one's unavailable because I used it at the end of last turn. I can flip a dice upside down to do a six. And a four, but that is a ten. And I can flip this to a four to do max damage over here as well. So do that. Let's flip this to a six. Do this and this. Hopefully it works out. Okay. And does the freeze. That's fine. That's gonna give us some sixes. Freeze works differently. Hold on. For freeze is not that good anymore. Frozen, reduce all value by two. Huh. It's 
it actually works out okay for me. I don't mind that. I can play this twice then. And it's an even turn, so I should play something, I should play something here. Uh, I probably should play the four in here for double damage there. Play this for four. Play this for another four. Okay, now he's down to two. All right, he got his one again, which isn't that bad. Now that only reduces value by two. It's not that bad. I mean, that's so not bad. This is still unavailable. Did I, did I do something wrong there? Why is it still unavailable? Oh, because it's, it's unavailable because it's the odd turn. Not because I used it last round. I was wrong about that. It was unavailable because it's an odd turn. I forgot, I forgot about that part of it. That is what's going on. Not, not a problem. Under control. And we have our Fury going into the next battle. Use it right away. Do some extra damage. Um, this is a situation where we have pretty decent health. I'll probably heal back once. Let's see what's in here. Scissors. Does X damage. Splits the dice in two. Oh, that's interesting. Man, this is interesting. Okay. And I'm glad they throw this at me like late in the game when I know. I mean, I'm not going to say I know everything. But I know enough. You know, I would consider, I don't know. It's a big move. I don't think it's better than Katana. I don't think it's better than Katana. I don't think it's better than Sledgehammer either. Six damage splits the dice into two. Then I can, well, okay, last second. Slow back. Let's roll back here. I can play, I can play scissors with the six. Split that into two, and then play that into Katana a couple times. I'll end up with four dice, right? Um, and then I get uh, a potential of Hookshot, letting us play this even more. It's a it's a possible strategy. I have to roll sixes though, which means I need to roll a one, and flip it with the spatula, or a six, which is you know a third of the time would be build play that the, the scissors. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try for a battle and see how it goes. I'm gonna try for a battle and see how it goes. Okay, an upgrade. Okay, let's take a look real quick. This is, this is gonna prevent some very interesting options. So this goes to a max five, three uses. This goes to a even. Oh, that's killer. We could always play that then. What's what hookshot upgrade look like? Any even dice. Keep the next dice you use. Return this dice. That's a free shot. That's a free dice every single turn, just about. And Polar Star goes to two times damage. You can only use this on the odd turns. So the way that's a big improvement is because it goes on turns one and three rather than two and four. It shortens up my battles quite a bit. It's a minor thing, but it seems like it might be a good thing. Let's take a look at the backpack. Rusty Sword goes to Rusty Sword, cut down half, so it's more usable. Candle goes to dice value plus one, lose one health. Interesting. Sledgehammer goes to 10 damage instead of 8. I don't know. I think Polar Star has the most potential to shorten up battles. I'm going to do it. Alright. That has a lot more potential now. Alright, so we got a 6. We scissor it. We fury it. That gives us so many dice. I love it. Okay. We go a two. We go a three equip next. We go uh, a five here. And we go fours into this. I, got, I think we got a loadout, guys. I think we might have a loadout. That, that seemed very painless. I, I kind of like that. That's amazing. Okay. All right. What do we got here? Nice to see you around here. Okay, half moon charm. Rolls a six for six. I mean, it turns basically to a combined dice. It's something. It's something. Elastic heart. Do X damage, recover one health. Eh, one health, not a lot. All my money. Copper shield, do times two X shield. Two times X as my shield once per battle. Put a six on that, we get 12 shield. That's enough to block two turns, I would imagine. 
Um, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Because we have we don't have another treasure chest here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Elastic Heart is probably not gonna improve a whole lot. Copper Shield, if I get the right loadout, I, I'd have to spend a couple slots on something for this, because if I compare this with a shield damage, like a shield bash. But who knows what shield bash does? We could we do anything here. I think we can't count on getting things that we know would work with things. I think we just got to ride the wave we're, we've been given, which is uh, to stick it out with what we got. This is going to go well. This is going to go well. I have a feeling. I've got a good feeling about this. All right. So we got not what I need, but I did get a two. And now we get a five back to plate there. Let's play the four here, though, instead. So I get that four back. We get 12 out of that one, then. We get this one. Works for me. If I could upgrade the scissors, man, it would be in, in the shade. We got one, even. Look at that. Now we have burn. So we got to keep the aware of that. We have the two, but it would make this unavailable next turn. Um... I don't think I want to do that. I do want to do this, though. Do that. And that's all I can do this turn. So we're down to five. I mean, if I could... I could, I guess I could do a couple damage here. Actually, if I do this... Let's see. I have two more uses on this, right? I only have two more uses. I would go two and then three. That's not enough, right? I can flip this upside down though. And I got two and two here. Oh, we didn't do the math right. Shoot. Why did that? Oh, we hit five. Never mind. I thought he had four. All right. I wasn't a math. It wasn't a math counting situation. It was a visual not remembering what I just saw a second ago situation. I don't know which is worse, to be honest. Both are pretty bad. Hey, I'm only human. And now we don't have enough damage to win, but we do have enough to do this. Hey, there we go. All right. So we got our heal back there. Not in great shape, but not in bad shape. Debating on anything out of there still. I think we got to stick with what we've been given. This is a loadout. This is a loadout. I'm happy with the way it's going to go here so far. Getting a loadout early like this is great. Okay, so we have Rotten Apple. Do I want to bypass the health for now? We are leveling up. We will need to heal at some point here. He's weak to shock. I want to put the sledgehammer back in instead of the scissors. I want to do that instead of the scissors this time around. Because he's weak to shock, specifically. And that will help to shorten this battle quite a bit. I'm going to save the health then. We probably won't need it until after this battle. We'll see. He might not be weak to shock anymore. I don't even know. All right, well, let's assume this is going to go well. Let's just assume it's going to go well. We have our Fury, too. We can we can actually shock him pretty well here. If I get a 6. I need 10. I need 10, right? I just need 10. So I can flip that to a 6. We have 10 right here. We have the 5 damage over here. What's more damage for him? This T is weak to shock. Yeah, so this does 8 damage. If we put this in there, it does it twice. So good. So good. Okay. Like I said, good feelings about that one. And that's that's the simple fact is knowing knowing your enemy. It's so important. Nail bat. 2x damage plus 3. Lose 2 HP each turn. Take it, I guess. But I'm not going to be happy about using it. Okay. So, what do we have here? Scissors. Back to scissors again. Um, let's put the scissors back in. I think that's the way to go for this. Rotten Apple is weak to nothing. Strong to poison, probably. I think we're okay, though. He doesn't have a lot of damage, usually. Unless he's got a special move. He has Rotten Core, Reduce Health in Half, and Worm Bite, which is nothing. Basically nothing. Okay, so we have, uh, our scissors here. Let's do that. Depending on how that splits, we go five there. We go to the four here, flip that to a four here, and I guess we go with that. All right. Not too shabby. 
He's not going to get that. He's, he's not going to get our health for just in half. He's not going to make it. We have 23 to go. We can't do our double damage there. Uh, we do get a split here, though. Um, let's put this in here. Put that back. Re-equip next. Let's do this. I don't think it really helps me that much. Uh, and then we get three uses on this. He has 17. We're not going to make it, though. Get four out of this one. So we go three, set four, seven, and nine damage. Okay, so he will get the health in half move. It's okay. Down to eight. I mean, we got him next turn. He got his six. Ouch. Ouch. But we got our fury, and I'm not going to use it. I'm going to save it for later. We just need eight damage, and we have that right here. All right, this is going, this is going okay. I'm liking the I'm liking the complexity of this. It makes you pay attention, but at the same time, it's not too complicated. I dig. Okay, what do we got here? Trade my rusty sword for a fishing net. Max three lock X do X damage. Lock X die. Lock one dice on a three. I'll I'll trade it. I'll trade it if there's a lock situation. Yeah, I'll trade it. I'll take it. I'm not going to use it, though. We have to put in place a Polar Star. Um, or Hookshot. Hookshot seems like it's pretty dang useful. Especially if I had more moves. If I got something to put in place of... I do Fishing Net and something else here that's more valuable. Then maybe I could do this. Because the Scissor was cut this into at least a three. We could lock something every single turn. I don't know what lock does in this one, though. I mean, if, if all of the statuses work different, lock should work differently, right? I have no idea. Maybe lock works the way that, uh, maybe lock works the way shock does, right? So shock usually locks one of your equipment out. You have to pay to unlock it. What if uh, lock doesn't lock dice anymore? It locks out equipment. That would be very interesting. Okay, so I think the first thing we do here is fury this to split into two. We get extra dice then. And they're going to split, so I get a five. That's what I need. And we do double damage on the odd turns. We're gonna do that. And we're gonna go two in here. We're gonna go four, then four again, and then four third time for a pretty decent first turn. And that's exactly why we took that upgrade for our uh, main attack there. Oh, we didn't get it. He didn't get it. He got he didn't get his big attack. So now we lost this. We lost this. We don't have a very great roll here. We need 16 health. We gotta survive. He can do 5 damage and also potentially 12 damage to us. So he could win this time around. Uh, no, wait. He can do 8 damage. So he can do 8 damage here, 5 damage here. He can't beat us. We will win. Um, let's get full value out of this at least. Down to 12. Okay, so this will unlock next turn for a 6. We'll have this next turn and we'll have this next turn. I think we got him. He can't win. He get eight there. He'll get five there. He did get that on us, which isn't great. Oh my god. Lock dice need to be used in the order they were rolled before we can use any other dice. Interesting. That does work out for me though. I can just do this and go bam. So, it is a cool idea. I dig that. And it did work differently, as I suspected. Okay. Uh, upgrade equipment or battering ram. See, this is exactly what it is. Do two times X damage. This could have been a these doubles. That'd be kind of tough. But we could have done 12 damage if we kept our shield. 12 damage plus times two for 24 damage with that. It depletes all of my shield, but that's a big attack. It is two things, though. Take the upgrade. Tata going to five is good. Scissors going to even is great. Hookshot going up to even is great. Um, we're looking at the backpack. What do we got here? Nail back goes to a half size. Not good. Pushing neck goes to max five. Unlocks one dice on fives. Sledgehammer goes to ten. Candle goes to that. Um, let's upgrade the scissors or the hookshot. 
I think splitting sixes makes a lot more sense though, doesn't it? I think this is a better way to go. We don't get to play, we play this one a lot more than we play this one. We also end up with dice at the end though that we can't use. So there's that, there is that. But we get options. Okay, so now we're at level five, right? We have to get through one, two, three, four, and we have a heal here if I get through him, okay. And then we just gotta get through him. And we get up, we get a thing here, and then we gotta get through him probably. So that's the order. We'll come back for Cowboy at the very end. Um, alright, cracking it is. Let's get cracking. Alright. So, uh we should probably Get this out there. Get this out there. We want to flip this up to get the six to split into two. We want to get the five damage here. We want to do maximum damage over here. Again, maximum first turn. Maximum first turn. Every single dice with that's maximum. Inflict blind for two turns. He'll do it. So we just gotta make dinner health. We're at, we're at like 36, 39 health, something like that. 36 health. All right, we still got our thing here, and any even is just fine. I mean, we'll just do that. Um. Now I'm kind of stuck though. Let's do this. We cursed it, but it didn't lose it. Okay, that's fine. And two more. Okay, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. And blind two indicates two turns, right? So I have no idea what my health is now. But still what it was before, which was like something. It's like 39, 36, something like that. It's a memory game, which is not my strong suit. All right. Pretty interesting though. Okay, so I do any healing? No. We can go after Direwolf then. Or we take on the Cowboy, because I think the Cowboy's a little easier than Direwolf, but he's level five, he's level four. I don't know. I don't know. Who would I rather fight with Willer, fuller health? Direwolf, probably. I mean, Cowboy's some strong attacks that he can do. Okay, so we want to split the sixes first of all here. Let's see what we come up with. Do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. And this. We ended up with a ton of dice we can't even use at the end here. I guess I could have flipped those fives for a two though instead. Shoot, I should have done that. I have one more flip left. He didn't get his curse, that's great for us. He's also working on. Uh, oh, poison says we take two damage. So random piece of equipment is poison. Reduce the countdown onto zero by the end of your turn or take damage. Okay, so we can just do the countdown on it like that. We split those anyways to get more dice back. Okay, I think we got 12 damage here. Uh, we throw it even to there. We can flip these for an extra dice. Wasn't sure what was going on there. Okay, so we get uh, 11 damage there. So close to dead. He got his doubles. Curse is totally different now. All right? It should be. That's what they said. All equipment has a chance to 50% switch target. Wait, what does that mean? So I can attack myself with this, you're saying? That would suck. Let's try this. All right. Not go for the big attack then. Go for the smaller attack. Or I should have just done the minimum amount needed to kill him. I'm down to 30. Let's get this health back. And now we go after Rat King, get ourselves an upgrade. Let's see what's in here. Sine Wave needs doubles. First dice value plus one. Second dice value minus one. What does that mean? I don't quite understand Sine Wave. I get what it's saying. Sine Wave plus one minus one plus one minus one, right? But needs doubles. So I put in a two in here. It goes, gives, gives me back a three and a one. It's kind of garbage. Rat King or Cowboy? Uh, let's go with the Rat King. 
for that upgrade. Strong against poison, not gonna be an issue. We've had our loadout since like floor two here, right? Split that into two, see what we get. We got two fours already for over here. We got our five for in here. We got our even for funsies. We got our maximum damage no matter what. We could have flipped it. We could have done maximum damage a few different ways there. I mean, any, as long as we're getting maximum damage or loadout, that's a pretty good loadout. As long as our maximum damage, I, s I suppose, is pretty high. I guess his dice pack is nice. It's fun for him. How fun for you? Our maximum damage for this loadout is 12 plus 6 plus 10, right? That's our maximum. That's our maximum damage. Um, I should probably clear that. Okay. Let's get that out here. Let's get this up. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Shoot, I screwed that up just a little bit. Because now we got to flip this to a 2. I should have done this katana first there, got the with the four, and I would have actually probably won that battle then. Shoot. That's right. We have a heal still. He's not gonna get that much damage on me. Well he might. He's gonna get that, roll another dice. He's gonna get that, roll another dice. He's gonna get that, roll another dice, and we're gonna get that, roll another dice. And get that, roll another dice. Okay. He locked that one. I don't need to use it though. I can kill him with this. Okay. 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 All right. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. I think we got a decent build out. I don't know how this will do as a as a boss killer. So far, so good though. Another upgrade. Um, or another fishing net. Lock one dice on three. That's fascinating. Let's go see what we have for upgrades. Okay, so we can upgrade Katana. Probably be wise to do so. Upgrade Scissors. Probably would be wise to do so. I have two upgrades to buy, though. I can just have a fully upgraded loadout. Let's just do it. We're frenzies. Let's just do it. Let's upgrade all of our loadout. This is our loadout. This is the, only, this is the horse we rode in on. Let's go with it. Let's trust in the system. Trust in the system. Okay. So we go, um, this is actually really good. We go even into here. We go max five there. We flip this to there. We have two more fives over there. We flip this to a five. We split this because for more damage. We get five on each of these for 15 now. We just increased our damage output by quite a bit. Our turn one damage output, turn two is not so good. He's got his sixes. He already has his sixes. He doesn't need more sixes. He doesn't need more sixes. Come on. Ouch. Now, I could hold the Fury until next round, which would probably be wise. Let's do this. That's good. Let's do this. Okay. Let's put a four into here. Put a two into here for a five. We got him? We got him. Okay, we level up here. Now we have Fury going into the final battle, which makes my turn one output something in the neighborhood of like 36. Like 40 damage my first turn. Pretty good. Pretty good. Who are we going against? Let's find out. Warrior versus Drake. We don't see too often. Oh. So Drake has the unique aspect of being a vampire. The vampire is a enemy that can only be killed with a stake. Take it. We need to put that in our loadout now. Otherwise we can't win. That sucks. Um, well, let's get wooden stake in there. Now we have to decide what's our what's our backup here. Fishing that makes sense because it's the only one that's. I mean, I guess I could go take the polar star out, take the hook shot out, because we do end up with a lot of dice. Leave scissors in, leave katana in, because the hook shot we it's nice, but we have five dice now, so that's not super necessary. It just helps us get a little bit extra. I think that's the way to do it. Okay, we just gotta make sure we're putting enough in points in a wooden stake 
So we can do 30 damage damage to vampires. Oh, actually, no, this is, wooden stake works totally differently. It does 30 damage to vampires. We might have a lot of health, but I don't think we can pass up the damage on this thing. And we're only really giving up hook shot. Okay, I think we're fine. Normally you need the normally you need the wooden stake to actually even just win the battle. But in this case, it doesn't look like that's the case. He uh He can only be killed by wooden stake. Okay. I've got a lot I gotta fight a walking dice. I'm 476 years old. This is entirely beneath my dignity, but I guess I'll, let's get over with. Why are you wearing a beanie cap if you're 476 years old? You know, don't talk about undignified. Okay. So we have fives for this. We have a six for here. It's five for that. We got three fives there. We need one more five for that. We can put our putting sixes into this. Now the question is, do I Fury now? And do 20 damage to him. Because I'll do five times 10 times twice. Have Polar Star unavailable next turn, which is going to happen anyways. I think that's what I just do. And then I, then I save my next Fury for Wooden Stake and just really do him in. And Vampire. Restores all health when defeated once. Oh, okay. So we have to have a broken loadout. I don't feel even, I don't even feel bad about this now. Okay. We'll get him then first turn here. We're going to get him down. No problem here. We got, we got this. We're down to 30. Okay. We use that as the kill shot then later on. He's draining health. And blind. So I only, I have, okay, okay, 40. I have 40 health. We didn't, oh, the blind didn't work. Okay, good. That's unavailable for multiple reasons. Uh, okay. Split the dice into two with an even. Let's flip this to a six. Split into two. Nice. Let's put the five into here. Five into there. Okay. We can flip this to a six. Put it into there. Do another couple damage here. Put these over to here and just sit back on this guy for later. Okay, he's got 12 health left. He's gonna go back to full here in a minute. Interesting. He still didn't get that three poison, three blind. How fascinating. Okay. So we, we split the sixes. Hope for a five. Okay, we got our five for over here. Next, we concentrate on getting another five or two. Let's flip this to a five. Get maximum damage there. Let's keep the six for over here. Let's do the three here. Let's flip one, another one of these to a six. And then we'll use the one in this also. So here we go. Double damage there. Back to 68. Attack, attack, attack. It's coming for you, buddy. It's coming for you. My fury's almost there. I see a little more damage from you, please. All right, you got the boys in the blind. I'm at like 35, I want to say. And I got three damage end of turn. Let's unlock that right away. So I don't take that damage. Okay. So we split the dice. So we get, we got threes. Okay. Um, so we have 15 here. And we have, we have the eight for this. We want to do it. My fury's not ready yet, but I think I got to shorten the battle up. I think if we do this next turn, we can kill him. I have two uses on this. I flip this one to a four. We do, you know, 14 damage to him here, and this one will be down to 30, so we get a pretty decent turn. I mean, we got, we, we got a lot. Now, he's a, technically not a vampire anymore, though, because he did lose that trait. Just saying. It would be, it would be kind of a big, uh, F you to, to the player here if that happened, but it didn't. So then we got her. We got that again. That's fine. We got a five over there. I'm not even going to use it. We're just going to go with the uh, flip this over, pour it out. Double damage there. That's all we need. Wonderful. That was not so bad. It was actually really cool. Look at another one episode. Congratulations. Spin the wheel. You're not getting as cute with this as you were. Oh, look at this. Stop. Oh, man. You know what the problem is? That car weighs a lot. That's why it keeps ending up that way. Because the car is right opposite that. The car is heavier. That's why it hates happening. I believe one of these times we can overcome it, though. Beautiful. Beautiful. Par Parallel Universe 1 is complete. This was fun. I'm excited for the rest of these.
Um, I feel like so I should I should I should save these other ones up. I think next time we'll go through the level six here for the warrior, and then after that I'll do the I'll do them in order. Then I'll go through the thief. I'll do his challenge and I'll do the fun one. Challenge and fun one, then the opposite one, whatever that's gonna be. We'll find out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about Parallel Universe in the comments below. It is very fascinating, I think. And I'll be back for another episode really soon. Have a good night.